Hi everybody, in this video we'll consider the um, quadratic equation with delta equals zero. Let's write the general formula, the general quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx squared plus c equals zero with a greater than zero. We know that the general formula is minus b plus or minus square root of delta divided by 2a where delta is b squared minus 4ac in this case delta is 0 so we will see that this term vanish vanishes so let, let's do an example <clears throat> consider x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals 0. So we have that a is 1, the coefficient of x squared, b is minus 10, the coefficient of x, and c is 25. Using the formula we have x1 2 equals First of all, we can compute the delta in this case, which will be 0, but I will show you. Delta is b squared, so minus 10 squared, minus 4ac. <clears throat> a is 1, and c is 25. So we have 100 minus 4 times 25, 100. So delta is 0. Let's write the formula. Minus b. b is minus 10. So minus minus 10. Plus or minus square root of 0, which is 0. Let's write it for completeness. 2 times 1. So we have minus minus plus. 10 over 2, 5. So we can see that 5 is the solution to the equation, but since a quadratic equation should always have two solutions, we say that 5 is a solution with multiplicity 2. Or we can say that more easily that this equation has two solutions which are both 5. We could have seen this in another way. Uh, if you look carefully, you see that a quadratic equation with delta equals 0 is a square. You can see that because x is the square of x, 25 is the square of 5 and minus 5, so we should only check if the term in the middle is the double product of x and 5 or x and minus 5. Since we have a minus here, then we see that this is the product of x and minus 5 times 2. So actually, this equation is x minus 5 square equals 0. If you compute here the, uh, the square, you, you get the same result as here. If we have a square equals 0, this implies that the base is 0. This is a um, linear equation, so we have that the solution is given bringing the 5 in the right hand side of the equation. So we can either apply the formula or realize that all the times that delta is 0, the equation is a square. So we write it as a square and we get immediately the solution. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please like it on, uh, on YouTube and subscribe to the channel and you will find much, uh, much interesting, uh, more interesting stuff on my channel. See you next time.